Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 21st tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about nested loops in Python and uh, nested loops are loops within loops. So, you know, we checked out the nested if else construct earlier in the course and nested if else statements are uh, if else statements within if else statements and you know similarly nested loops are loops within loops. And uh, what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to use for loops and we're going to use the range function the break statement and a few more things to find out prime numbers between 2 and 100 and also numbers that are not prime between 2 and 100 we will display all of them on screen right so it's going to be a slightly tricky program to understand you know judging by the fact that in the course thus far we've had like really simple programs and haven't been programming you know we've just been playing with the python programming language and we've been checking out its features so this is going to be like first real programming example in this course and I'm excited about this tutorial. So the first thing that I'm going to do is type in the keyword for and then a variable for my for loop and I'm going to call it var1 and then the keyword in and then I'm going to get the range function to you know, make the variable, make the loop uh, loop from 2 to 101. And the reason why I'm going to loop till 101 is because when you use the range function, the upper limit is not included in the range set. So since we want to find out prime numbers between 2 and 100, we have to loop, uh, you know, we have to keep the upper limit for the range function as 101 and not 100, right? So if you want to find out prime numbers between 2 and uh, let's say 998, then you have to put 999 as your upper limit in the range function, right? I'll put in a colon here and get inside the body of my for loop and I'm going to use a variable called flag and I'll set it to true, right? And this is not going to make sense right now, but you know, just imagine flag to be some kind of a variable that you use to check where you are in your program and what is happening, right? And it's going to make sense in a couple of minutes, but for the time being, just know that it's a variable that you need to have in this program, right? And the next thing that I'm going to do is type in for again. So this is another for loop within the outer for loop, right? So that's why this is an example of the nested loop uh, construct in Python. And the variable for this for loop is going to be var2. And again, I'll type in the in keyword and then the range function. And this time the lower limit for range is going to be two, but the upper limit for range is going to be var minus one right var one minus one sorry i apologize so you know what we're going to do is let's say we want to find out whether 13 is a prime number or not so we're going to divide 13 by 2 and then 13 by 3 13 by 4 and we're going to keep on dividing 13 by numbers till we divide 13 by 12 right so that's what we're going to do and if the remainder obtained in any of those division operations is zero, then it means that 13 is divisible by one number between two and itself. And that means that it is not a prime number. So then we're gonna break out of the inner for loop and we will display a message, right? So I hope now things are making some kind of sense. So I'm gonna put in a colon and uh, you know get inside the body of this uh, for loop. And as I said, we're gonna check whether the remainder obtained when you divide the outer variable with the inner variable that is var1 and I'm going to use the modulus uh, division operator which is the percentage symbol var2 equals 0 and if this is the case then as I said uh, you know we're going to first print using the print statement that uh, the variable var1 is not a prime number right and uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to set the flag to false and uh, then we are going to break right and uh, outside the inner for loop at the level of the inner for loop that is we are going to have an if statement that is going to check the value of flag so if the flag variable is true in only that case we are going to have a print statement that is going to execute and that is going to display the message. Okay, wait a second, this has to be outside the double quote. So var1, and I'll put in a comma here, and uh, inside the uh, double quotes, I'll type in is a prime number, right? So the role of the uh, flag variable, as you guys have probably you know figured out by now, is that, you know, if the number that the outer for loop is going to pass into the inner for loop, if that number is 
not a prime number, then flag will be set to false. And the if statement here is using the flag variable to check whether the number is, uh, is, is a prime number or not, right? So if it is a prime number, in that case, you know, this if statement is uh, never going to evaluate to true. And you know, the value of flag that will be passed to this if statement is going to be true because we initially set it to true. Whereas if this if block executes and if you know the condition evaluates to true, then the if if block is going to set the value of the variable flag to false, and in that case, this if statement will fail, and we'll go back to the outer for loop with a new value for var one, and then we're going to repeat the same procedure again. Right? So let me save this program and execute it. And there you go, we see that when I run the program, I get this really awesome, pretty list with all numbers between 2 and 100. So, you know, I see that 2 is a prime number, 3 is a prime number, 5 is a prime number, 7 is a prime number, so on and so forth. I see all prime numbers and I also see the numbers that are not prime. So, 4 is not a prime number, 6 is not a prime number, and 8 is not a prime number, so on and so forth. And I get my list up to 100. Right? So, this is really cool and uh, I agree that, you know, there are better ways of doing this program but then I thought that this is the most easy way to understand so that's why I picked this up and uh, I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one in which we discuss something interesting for sure and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.